This is Lord Fellowship. This is Sister Gina with today's Timely Truths. With Mother's Day coming in the next few days, I was thinking about mothers, and I am led to speak about them today with a focus on their human side. The unexpected, how they trust, and the promise. Beginning first with Mary, the mother of Jesus. The unexpected. In Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 31, it says, Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. The angel then began to say, whose Mary's son would be in life, that Jesus would be called the son of the highest. In Luke chapter one, verses 34 and 35, it says, then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. The verses then go on to show that Elizabeth, her relative, has conceived in her old age, where she was once called barren. So we see that Elizabeth too had the unexpected happen. In Luke verse 37, it says, for with God, nothing will be impossible. The trusted. In Luke chapter one, verse 38, it says, then Mary said, behold the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Wow. Can the women out there imagine how Mary initially felt with this news? What an unexpected turn of events. But the Bible says that Mary trusted the Lord and believed that she was highly favored, knowing that the Lord was with her and that she was blessed among women. The promise. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told to her from the Lord. Mary believed what she was told by the angel Gabriel, and she trusted the Lord in this new experience that she was about to go through. I am sure that Mary thought about herself and moving forward in the unknown. Unknown about what pregnancy would be like, what people would say about her pregnancy, what her fiance would say about her pregnancy. Would he, Joseph, stay with her after he found out? Again, Mary chose to trust the Lord. As Mary encountered the unexpected, she trusted the Lord while not having all of the answers, believing in the promise that the Lord was with her and that she was highly favored. In Psalm 46, verse 5, it says, God is within her. She shall not fail. We cannot succeed in the plans that God has for our lives on our own. We must keep the promise of God in our hearts, just as Mary did. On our own accord, we cannot accomplish the purpose and plan God has for our individual lives. We must know that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think. When I think about my mom, I think about how beautiful she was, inside and out. If you had the chance to know my mom, you would have seen that she was loving and kind. My mom, too, lived her life through encountering the unexpected, where she had to trust that the Lord would help her every step of the way believing in the promise that the Lord was with her and that she was highly favored. My mom, she loved. She chose to be a stay-at-home mom to be there for us when we came home from school. She sacrificed more than we could probably ever know or understand. She honored my dad and he honored her. They had an agreement and they both stuck to their part of it. She was elegant. She was graceful. She had an inner strength. I'm sure that she had so many things on her mind at any given moment, but she always had time for us, to talk with us, to care for us. 
She protected us. She taught us. I would like to leave the mothers, mothers-to-be, and mother figures with this verse from the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 42. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. God bless you, and have a wonderful Mother's Day in the Lord. Bye-bye.